Hello everyone, my name is Gary and I have designed this uh, Mongoose Beast uh, single speed bicycle. Uh, put this uh, engine on here that you can easily buy off of eBay. They sell uh, kits that are ready to install. Um, however, I did use a few other parts that are not included with the kit to install this motor on this particular bicycle because uh, the original kit does not come ready to be installed on a bike of this type. However, I really wanted a motor on here because I do enjoy the big, large, fat tires. Uh, they do help grab the road better and uh, just helps to handle more like a actual motorized bike should. Uh, as you can see, the custom carburetor right here. This is a racing carburetor. Also allows you to customize the main jets depending on your altitude that you're located. Um, right now, I'm about 650 feet above sea level, and I'm running uh, number 65 on the jet number in that carburetor, and uh, seems to be working pretty well. I've also put 60 in it, and it works well, as, uh, you know, also. And then back here, one other modification I made from the original kit. If you see this uh, piece of metal right here that's uh, attaching it here to the uh, hub. I also purchased that custom off eBay. Uh, I feel like it's a whole lot better component to attaching the gear to the rear axle. Uh, it doesn't require any welding or having to use all the screws or measuring or any of that. Uh, it's a lot more effective and it doesn't wobble. And I don't know, I just like it a lot better. Uh, they do cost about, about 50 bucks on eBay just for that one part. And then, um, let's see. Also, I added a speedometer. Now, some kits I've seen on eBay come with that. Uh, most do not. And this one here has the original sprocket that comes with the kit. See, it's, uh, it's a 44 tooth sprocket. And I also designed another one with a 60 tooth sprocket. As you can see, I have a trailer connected to this one. And I need the larger sprocket to allow for the torque that I would need to pull the trailer. And this is a nice covered trailer you can obtain from walmart.com. Put groceries in it, whatever. If you're unable to drive, you can go to the store and put groceries in it. This one has the original carburetor. <clears throat> now, this carburetor, I mean, it works, but it's not as good as the custom. Obviously, you can see the air breather on it is not near as uh, decked out looking, and it uh, doesn't get the kind of airflow that the racing carburetor allows. Um, it's, you know, you also have to follow a different procedure in starting it, uh, whereas this other one, all you do to choke it, you just simply pull this lever up right here, and then you just push it forward and pops back up. That's after it kicks off and starts. And on the original model, basically, you have to come over here and pump this little button right here, pump fuel in it, and then here's the choke here raise it down when you get started but they both work uh, the racing carburetor is just better especially if you're at different elevations uh, this one comes standard with a size 70 uh, main jet so you probably get better performance if you're like a higher or a lower elevation uh, with the racing carburetor because you can customize it uh, these are not customizable um, anyways I will now start one up and give you a demonstration and uh, if any of you guys would like uh, to maybe get me to help you build one, um, I'm thinking about maybe trying to build these on the side, and maybe we could talk about you know what you might be willing to pay me or whatever. I could build you one, and we could work out the shipping. But let me give you a demonstration. Okay, so here we go. Uh, basically, we just uh, choke it here. Now we have a clutch right here that we pull in starting it. Now the original kit does not come with a full starter. This is also an addition. Most of them you have to start pedaling the bike and then once you get up to their speed, let the clutch out and start the engine. Uh, I prefer to go ahead and spend another five bucks to give me a full starter so that I don't have to do all that. So we pull the clutch in, we lock it in its uh, closed position, start it up.
there we go. This one here has the, uh, the rear brake. You just pedal backwards and it applies the brake. Um, another good thing about having a fat tire, it helps to grab the ground a little better so you don't slide out from under it. Um, but anyway, that's it. Uh, I would say the speed, I could get about 30 on this one. The one with the bigger gear, probably looking about 20, 25 maybe, just depending on your weight. Uh, another good thing is, uh, even if without the trailer, if you're a heavier person, uh, the, you know, the larger sprocket extra, does provide the extra torque that you would need. This one is faster, uh, just kind of a slower takeoff. But anyways, thanks y'all. My name's Gary, and uh, if you'd like to be interested in maybe buying one or need help building one, uh, just uh, you can find my email address or you can get in contact with me. Thank you.